Good morning, let's create a street texture. Complete procedural. Let's delete the default cube, add a plane, scale it up in the y axis like 20. And let's position the camera that we can see our street. Control Alt and Zero. You can snap the camera to the viewport. Also, let's change the focal length to something like 25. And press N to open the transform tab. Pull the camera a little bit backwards so you can see basically the whole street. Let's switch to cycles and GPU compute. Also choose your light. Go to the object data properties and switch it to sunlight. Let's choose the sunwise angle of the sun. Okay. Then switch to rendering. Also reduce the strength of our sun to like, I don't know, five. And set the color to a yellow orange. Okay, now we can start with our shader. Switch to the shader editor. And you can choose the default material. We will adjust it. First, let's add texture coordinate and the mapping node. And we are using the object data. First, we will create the basic structure of our street. For this, we need Voronoi texture. Plug the vector into the vector. And we need a bump node. And we will use the distance, plug it to the height and to the normal. And you should apply the scale of our street because it's now 20 in the y-axis. So let's just click Control A and scale. So the scale is now 0, uh, 111. Okay, this is going downwards, so we will invert it. We will choose a color ramp to Adjust this a little bit. Plug it between the Voronoi texture and the bump map. And crank this down a little bit like this. So you have more randomness. And also increase the scale of our Voronoi texture. Like 100 or maybe 150. Yes, that's better. Then we need... Also a noise texture, so the vector into the vector. We need a new bump map, just duplicate it. And put the color into the height, the bump into the normal. Increase the detail level to 15. And also increase the roughness a little bit. And now we need to combine and deselect the invert. And now you can plug in the normal of our first bump map to the normal of the second bump map, bump map and decrease the strength of the second one to like 0 0.1. Okay, this is our basic structure for our street material. But the street also have some cracks inside. That's what we are doing now. For that, we need also a Veronai texture. I still don't know how to pronounce this. Let's duplicate our first one and switch to distance to edge. Decrease the scale to 1. Plug in the vector into the vector. And by the way, we don't need the mapping node for our first ones. Just reconnect it directly from the texture coordinate. Then we can choose this one just for the second Voronoi texture. Just that we see what we are doing. Unplug our first and duplicate uh, one of our bump maps and put the distance into the height and the normal into the normal. And increase it to like 0.2. Okay, and this looks not even close like cracks, so we need to adjust it with color ramp. Let's flip color ramp, decrease the black value very, very low. 
something like this. Also, we will use an invert node. And we need a bit more randomness. So we will put a nice texture between the texture coordinate and the mapping node and mix it with an mix RBG. Increase the detail level to the maximum. Increase factor of the mix node to like 0.85 or maybe 0.8 or 0.9. Yes, 0.9. But now our completely street is broken and that's not normal. So we need a bit more randomness. Add a noise texture and also a color ramp. Let's choose a new one. Put the color into the factor. factor. Then we need a mul another mix RBG node. Choose multiply. Put the mapping vector to the vector and also increase this to 100. Now you can't see any difference. That's because we have to adjust our color ramp to something that looks good. But you see, this is this looks pretty weird. So we have to decrease our scale to like 0.5. Increase our color ramp still a little bit, the black value to like something like this. We can add our basic structure to it. Just plug the normal into the normal of the other bump map. Maybe decreases this a little bit to like 0.5. Yes, that's better. Then we can still add more detail if we use a displacement node, but this will only work in cycles. Plug in the color of our invert node to the height of our displacement and put the displacement into the displacement. Okay, but now we still we just have um, the bumpiness because we have to change our settings in the texture tab. Then you can choose the displacement bump only and choose displacement and bump. We need to switch to experimental. Go to our modifier tab and choose subdivision surface. Choose simple and adaptive subdivision. Okay, but this is way too much. So let's reduce our scale and also the mid level to one. Yes, now it's on the original position, I guess. Maybe still a little bit too much. That's good. Okay, now we need to create uh, trails for our street. We will use a rig texture. Sounds weird, but it works very, very good. Let's plug the color into the color. Okay, but now we don't want to use the object data because um, if you want some curves and other stuff, this will not work. So that's why we use the UV data. We need a mapping node. Let's increase the motor size to the maximum. Decrease the bias and increase the brick white to like 20. And now we just need to turn the brick texture at 90 degrees and decrease the scale 0.3 and move it to like this. Increase the X value a little bit so you can ha so you have uh, two straight lines now we need also a parting line in the middle and we will use another brick texture with another mapping node decrease the brick white to something like 0.5 i guess it was the standard one and increase the scale of your y axis of the second mapping node to yeah, something like this, but it depends on your on your street. Also, we need to set this to the middle. Okay, and now we need to combine them with a mix RBG node and choose add. Increase the factor to the maximum. 
But now you can see this is a little bit too blurry. That's why we will use the color ramp like this. And then we can plug this back, switch to our camera view. Let's disable our light and we need to add a HDRI. Okay, um, I downloaded this from Polyheaven. I will, will, I will leave a link in the description below. And yeah, that's basically it. Um, just choose a nice environment and then it can look like this. Yes, I just downloaded this tree also from Pauli Heaven and this grass and um, set it up a particle system to, to spawn uh, different gr uh, grass types randomly and yeah, that's it basically. The whole scene <laughs> looks like this, but in render view it looks pretty awesome. And yes, just play around with the settings. If you open a reference uh, image, for example, uh, this one here, I just googled World Street, um, you can see these two black lines uh, of each uh, trail. I don't know how to how this is called, but um, that's what we uh, simulate with the wave texture. Just uh, choose brands, X, and sign, and then type in um, these values. So the scale is, yes, basically increasing the scale. Just add some distortion because no car is driving completely straight. Also add, uh, increase the detail level and plug this into the uh, color ramp and play with two different colors. Um, I would recommend to choose uh, like this, uh, a pretty dark gray, and um, mix this up with our brick combination. <laughs> yes, also with the mix RBG node and choose add. Increase the factor to 100. Yes, and that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed the tutorial and play, play with the settings. Get used to it and see you next time.